and welcome to Mimosa Network's completely off-the-grid solar relay. For those who don't know me, my name is Dustin Stock. Hi. So today we're going to be talking about why we built this solar relay and this huge contraption 21 feet up in the air. We have a 55.6 mile link from right here to Carmel Valley. Most of this link is going to be over the Monterey Bay. So as most of you probably already know, going over water isn't very good. You have ducting, you have multi-path issues, but this right here helps tremendously. So we have two dishes hooked up to an A5C radio. One's a two-foot dish, one's a three-foot dish. The three-footer is aimed directly at the other point, which you'll see later in the video. The second dish is aimed about two degrees up. That way it helps with the ducting of the, the thermal inversion problem that people have in over bodies of water. And so with the dish pointing straight, we have about a neg 68 signal. But when the ducting occurs during the day, when the sun's out, um, the signal gets reflected up. So this second dish comes into play and it sits around neg 70 when the reflection happens. The dish up top is about neg 80. So when the inversion stops, they're flipped. But with the A5C, you only need two good chains. And on the other end of this link is a C5C, which just came out on market at the beginning of the month. It's hooked up to a big 10 foot TV C-band dish, which you'll see later on. And so we have a completely uh, off-grid KOA campsite down that side of the hill. We have what's called the mushroom farm on that side of the hill, which we're providing internet service with. We have did several different tests here. We tried a 10-foot dish with a C5C on this end and a C5C on that end. On this end, we had a KP Performance 5 gigahertz feed horn. On that end, we have an RF Elements 90 degree horn. And we were getting decent signals, but only part of the time. We hoped with the 10 foot dish that would help with the, the ducting problem and the multipath problem from reflection, but, but it didn't. So when the signal was great, we were getting about 100 megs down and 100 megs up, but that was only maybe 10% of the time. And so once we tried to align these two dishes and found that it's no better than a three foot dish, we took the 10 footer down. We first tried with a singular three foot dish. And again, our theory was that the signal would stay the same, which it did. And so we decided to put the A5C radio up since it has connections for two dishes. This is what we call a diversity link. Diversity because it can pick up the signal when it's being reflected up with the two-foot dish and when the signal is coming straight at us with the three-foot dish. And these dishes aren't put up there just at a random height. The feed horn on the two-foot dish and the feed horn on the three-foot dish is 11 foot apart exactly. And this will help us achieve the diversity link going the 56 miles that way over Monterey Bay. We are now on the Carmel Valley end of this link, which is 55.6 miles away from the other end of that link. Uh, we are at the 10-foot TV C-band dish that's on the client end of this connection. The C5C radio, which is connected to the A5C on the other end, using the RF Elements horn, which is a completely different way to use it, but still functional, evidently. Um, so we've got the six foot deep concrete foundation for this pole and it's a four and a half inch OD diameter for this dish uh, just like the base for this dish over here which uh, this is the original dish that we were trying to use at Costa Noah's side of this link but didn't work well so we brought it back um, so the big C-band dish is receiving the dual signals from the two dishes, the three foot dish and the two foot dish on the other side of that link. Unfortunately, you can't see today, but you can see the water, the bay, real well from here. And this link is almost all bay 
all the way across to the other end. Sorry, I can't help the fog. Um, but other than that, uh, that's about it for here. Thanks, and we'll talk to you next time. <laughs>